we have an issue we have a problem some lemon infused water and i make sure i drink Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Welcome back to the Roadhouse. Welcome back to another video. My little kids are over there. My little pickings. But y'all, today's video is gonna be very to the point. We have an issue. We have a problem. So I've been thinking long and hard. I need to go back on my diet one two i've gained weight so anyways you know we went on vacation and we've been eating and having a ball and whatever and i've been so bloated on vacation but my dad brought um some pills and i took them on vacation because i have issues pooping when i'm not in my home anyways the fact of the matter is we gain weight so i need to lose some pounds and it's a lot so i gained about 12 pounds since last year from coming off the injections and i feel bad about it but i started the injections again in april but i fell off again because i did not like the provider <laughs> and every time i'm supposed to change providers it's like i have to redo a blood test and that's money and the va refuses to put me through the program because I are so fat, fat, you know, emergent right now. But anyways, fact of the matter is, we're going to try the natural way. If not, may I go back on the shop. May I turn on that for now. We're cleaning out our pantry. I started. But I'm like, let me record this for y'all because I really want to go deep, in-depth, in the nitty-gritty. I haven't been eating the best. Mm -hmm. I've been a little bit stressed out about, you know, things, life, personal stuff. Mm -hmm. So stress, I stress eat a lot. I haven't been eating on time and I have not been exercising. I don't know what exercise most did to me. The exercise you did, mommy, is going upstairs and coming back downstairs. Yes. Or going down to the basement and coming back upstairs. That's it. I don't know what exercise did to me, but I hate exercising. I've done that, and that's the only reason why I miss the military sometimes. Well, I miss my friends too, but you know what I mean. Because I had to work out, I was looking good. But now that I'm out, we now look so good. So, anyways, y'all, chop all of that. Let's <laughs> chop it up, 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 chop it up. The fact of the matter is, we are losing weight. We need to lose weight. We need to lose weight. So, I have this scale. You want to go grab the scale for me? I have this scale that I have. I have this scale that I have. I have this scale that tells everything your body fat the t different types of body fat your percentage of body fat your body mass in in index your um and you know it's it's gonna tell you versus your, your height versus your weight i remember i'm short i'm like very short so with that being said i should be so heavy and i'm Daddy very heavy it, Mama. so <laughs> this is the scale um it's the it tech city scale and the app that I use is um, V-Sync. It's a V-Sync app. Anyways, we are going to clean out the pantry. I need to go grocery shopping, but I'm very serious. Like, when I went on the scale and the results that I saw, I was not happy. Me, me call Chris immediately, and I was like, yeah, this can't continue. We got to stop. So, when I'm serious about something, I'm serious about it. I, I, I fell off, but I haven't been serious enough. Because in my head, me take me young, but I'm not young anymore. And I've had or I've seen too many people um, die from being unhealthy. And or have complications from being unhealthy. And I need to have a long life for my kids and for myself so and for my family. So we're going to work on it. We're gonna work on it. I'm put normally I wouldn't do something like this because I don't like to fall off and then on a seat. But for those who were here with me last year, y'all can attest that when I was on the shots and changing up my diet, I lost a lot of weight. I lost 20 something pounds last year and I gained back 12. So 
we need, and I didn't reach my goal weight, but I was comfortable. I know we gone back up, so we are come back down. So we have an issue. We're gonna work on it. Um, so yeah, let's go. So what I'm gonna do, the first thing that I'm gonna do is it starts at home, right? So I need to clean out the pantry. That's the first thing. This video is very all over the place because Teddy is very loud and we can't get her finna say no. She know when the camera is on, so she gonna say something. So I'm open her in. But anyways, we're gonna start cleaning out the pantry. So this is my pantry. It has a lot of junk in it. Now remember my parents visit a lot. My mom eats very healthy, but my stepdad not the healthiest eater. So whenever I'm come and buy all of the sweets, all of the this, all of the that, and I was strict about it last year, you know. But my, my belly control me this year, my, 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 my greediness control me this year. So he's been buying the sweet stuff and I've been indulging in it and I'm going to have a strong talk with him. But anywho, we are going to clean out the pantry. I have a lot of stuff that needs to get thrown out, a lot of expired stuff, some snacks and stuff. We are going to throw them out and then I'm going to do a minimal grocery shopping later on in the evening. Um, I'll probably just run to Publix. I have some stuff that I need to pick up on weeks. So I'm gonna do that, but the first things first, we're gonna clean out the pantry. So I, I keep my tea bags in these, right? And I'm gonna throw out all of this because we know them expire. All long tea bags take for expire. Whatever the case is, I'm gonna throw them out because more than likely they're expired. Now the mistake I made with these are I took them out of the box and the individual packets they do not have the expiration date on it so we kind of put ourselves in our little jam where now we go after throw them out because i don't know when they expire and i'm probably pretty sure they are so we don't want to take any check we want to start fresh so yeah so what we're gonna do different this time is we are gonna use sticky notes and i wish i didn't have these bright colored sticky notes but for now this is what we have we're gonna use sticky notes and we're gonna put it on top of here with the name of the tea bags and the expiration date that's on the boxes so for instance this chamomile you see how oh, it has um april 5 2026 so say we take it out of this we're gonna take it out and then we're gonna put it in this and we're gonna write the, the dates on it because we don't want it not check with everybody so yeah so we just have a few things to get through and then i'm gonna go grocery shopping so let's go it's so unfortunate but as i said we're getting rid of all of these because i don't remember when we buy them and we don't drink them anyways so we gotta do better with that so the first thing, I'm keeping this pack because I, we just bought this. So I probably will keep it for the next three months. But as I said, y'all, please don't make that the same mistake that I made. Now, y'all remember I bought this the other day for mommy. We only have two in it. So I'm going to take them out. Well, three. Right? But on the box, it says 2026. So we're going to just write that down just wrote the chai rubus on this and i'll probably just stick it on the inside because the pink paper annoy me but we're gonna make it work so we're gonna put these two in there and then i'm just gonna go through all of them so this one is expired um 10th of march 2024 the thing i don't like with these tea bags it doesn't come in the individual sachet like these so we try not to buy them but sometimes we get away um not remembering the whole idea so that i got out this one yeah, says june 2024 that's out this is from jamaica mommy buy these let's see what the expiration date is on these make sure these expire because it's been a minute now okay so 3 16 2024 all right so let's add this chamomile let's see what's on the box so this says april 2026 Thursday, we're definitely keeping that. It says 2027. I wonder if they're serious about this. I read on the sole by probably other than the Jamaican story by our mommy character. But yeah, we drink Thursday, so we're not sure where we're Thursday. We're keeping that. So we just buy this too. Um, the chai spice tea. Let me see, is it okay? It's an individual sachet. Oh, 10 2024. So, yesterday's. 
have to watch this. Well, we end up on the Chai Spice again, 10, 20, 24. That, but yeah, that, the bottom. Um, under the bottom. Yes, mommy. Yeah, put that beside like that. All right. All right, so these Swiss Miss, we definitely throwing them out because we don't remember when they expire. This matcha, um, it this says kind of October 2024, so we're keeping. And I have the original Chinese matcha where well, they say, <laughs> let's see if this have any expiration date on it. Are this at the expiration date? Let me see. What is this in Chinese? Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Why may I feel say this at the expiration date? Somebody translate this to me. Let me put this in chat Mommy, GPT no, real quick. I can get my phone and just scan it and it tells you the, um, what it says. Okay. Yeah, All right, so this is expired. Put it in chat GPT, so expiration date, so 2023. Lord Jesus, so that needs to go. So, whew, that was expensive. Oh, I don't feel good about this. This are busy, you know. Me I forgot to ask mommy if this is good. Make sure this not, well, busy can't exp, I don't know. Everything about expiration date. Oh, here's the powder. Look at the busy powder. Let me see. Then you say you have a blood purifier and cleanser. You know. This is from Jamaica too, but you know, I have no expiration date. Busy can't expire. You know, I'm throw it away yet. May I wait? May I ask mommy? So we'll keep that. We're throwing these away. So we're we throwing out all of these because what is this? Something in the top. So yeah, we're throwing out all of these because we don't know. <laughs> We don't know, we don't know. And once you see we have so much, it tastes bad. We try one and it tastes bad. Mm -hmm. So we throw in all of these. We're not even have a friend. All of these. Come to the shop. Throw with them. This is a toy for Yeah. Yeah, those are women. We had that a long time. Yeah, those green tea, so I'm gonna take them. No, those, those are not good. Alright, just you know what? Just empty this. Simple. <laughs> Alright. So soup. We are down to three different type of tea in this. And I'm gonna put my little sticky right at the back. So we know, now go catch me another time. I try to be organized. Yeah, my hands are not burn up in but So it's little sticky right there, so. So, yeah, so this is done. Some protein, I hate That's protein it. powder, but it's good. It's not expired. Oh, really? It says um November 2024, so may I go keep it until then. It's not focused on y'all, but yeah, there we go. So we're keeping that. So we end up with two empty containers. <laughs> That's a big difference when the kids are yeah. Ready. And then this is something that mommy brought up for us: menstrual pain relief pack, um, black sage, and you can't call that word, but this just by so that good and then these are good too so we keep in these so for Cersei and then this ballerina tea listen if y'all know y'all know this if you don't want to go bathroom trust me this is the tea but make the belly hurt you Which and then we have some chia seeds and stuff oh your breath comes in and it's very all right good. so we have some coffee probably mommy buy this but it's expired. But you know what I've seen mommy doing? She has, she, oh, this must smell nice. She has been using the coffee as um, air freshener and it really made the whole smell fresh. Y'all need to try it. But this one does smell nice. So we are throwing that. Those are good. This is good. Let's see. All right, so 2024, we keep in this. This is good. 2025, we keep in this. 2025 we're keeping this keeping this not what drink them here. Yeah, these are mommy drinks all right so throw it up this not good no that's good all right guys so we're going in the pantry we're gonna bring in our tea bags grab a tea bag then come to asia okay what other tea bags we have Thank you. 
So we are not done. This is all what we've cleaned out so far. It's been a lot of stuff. A lot. We'll be going to a second bag. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Alright, so this is what we're working with. So we finished this shelf. We switched it around. We're not gonna eat as much cornmeal and as much flour. So we downsized from these two because we eat a lot of oatmeal. So we have old-fashioned oats and cornmeal so we're gonna use this i had this as a candy jar from my old home i found it in another jar so we're gonna use this for our flour and i like how the cover sound though so we'll probably change that but yeah so we're gonna use that um but yeah and i don't size the cornmeal to this with sugar quinoa so we are gonna work our way down down here so it's a headache because y'all know we're Caribbean people, we have a lot of spices and stuff, so we're almost there, almost there.
y'all almost did not get a pantry restock i am so so sorry we went grocery shopping on sunday and i almost forgot i was editing the video and i'm like wait i didn't show you all the updates so let's get right into it so on the top shelf we have our sanitary items and i took down some of the items here because it was just too much so we have our foil paper plates or cups etc etc napkins foil as i said and all of that so that shelf is pretty empty and we're gonna leave it that way until you know we figure out what we want to do now here we have our cereal and stuff um i am gonna purchase a cereal dispenser again i had one before and i gave it away but i think i'm in need of one because this is not all it. right so we have some pasta going on there for the girls so we have the whole grain and y'all can see the different variety. I don't need to go through everything because y'all can see it. And then on this shelf is where I have my teas, my honey, maple syrup, um, pancake syrup. I have a bottle of Nooni over there and my coffees are on here and all of that. Now in these drawers, I have jars not drawers jars in these jars i have my sunflower seed i have my chia seed and i eat this every day and some mixed nuts because i heard i'm supposed to increase my nuts intake ironically <laughs> but um so yeah i like cranberries so i make sure i got the one with the cranberries in it and then behind here i have my bloom um superfoods that um they sent me from tiktok so i have this and then i have my protein powder right here so this is like my little tea station nighttime chill thing and then i did add some more tea bags to this so i went ahead and i got more green tea um and i drank this last night and it definitely sent me to the bathroom without any issues so I'm gonna keep drinking this every night and then I got some more mint and then I have this jar here now moving along I have some breadcrumbs and then I have my oatmeal and then this little area is like a little miscellaneous area with oatmeal stuff so I have like um, some prunes some protein pancake mix some oat flour more Johnny cake mix some cashew anything that's open I try to put it in this particular um, area and then here we have our rice sugar quinoa flour and yeah so my husband decided that we're gonna stop eating white flour so he bought whole wheat flour my dad used to cook this for me and I hated the look of it but here we go he warns me and I never take heat so here we go so whole wheat flour and um, some couscous back there so you know everything is visible i can see everything i may throw this out because i have an, another jar or i may just leave it as is let's see how i feel about that but i have one more this i may throw it out and then up here we have some juice we're not really drinking a lot of juice listen i think since i want to say the past year or a few months ago we've been cleaning up our diet it's just that some days we really indulge and indulge horribly but i must say we don't drink a lot of juice anymore this juice these ones um it's two of them i get them from wick so this is our monthly intake of juice um as in if i'm gonna buy a jug of juice and then i saw this new flavored karma water in Publix, and i decided that i wanted to try it it's the watermelon berry and it looks good so Tasia and I were gonna try that and then um I have I saw this in Publix as well the juicy juice in the box and I think it's very good I mean if they're giving them this it's the same thing and then these are some mat juice that my stepdad left we have some IV um, drops around there Pedialyte and almost finished syrup so moving right along so this shelf was a hot mess let me zoom in so y'all can see it was a hot mess but we, we're doing better we're doing better yes. so this basket is another overflow basket that we use for snacks so any snacks that we start and we are not completing it we use these little clips put it on it and then we put it back here 
um i bought that brand new um i bought that boom chica pop we want to try it in this brand i've always had the smart foods brand but i want to try it in this brand so i got that i don't want to pull out the basket but y'all can see and then this little area is tenniels and tiaja's area because i tell myself i'm gonna stop snacking so this is tenniels um snack she only eat particular snacks i don't allow her to eat anything too sweet um that is not full of nutrients and you know i'm that mom so i get these at costco these are whole foods and then um i'm still snacking on these i don't know if i like them i i don't think i do but i don't want to waste my money um i think when i made them it tastes better but it's okay and then i saw this in um whole F um sorry Publix on sunday i said i'm gonna try it's with ranch so i said i'm gonna try it these are some honey bun. These are for Tiaja. She made ten. You try them. I know she's loving them, which I'm not happy with that. So I'm probably gonna have to hide these because I don't want to deprive Tiaja from what she loves because of ten years. So we're gonna figure that out. And then these are ten years. Um, well, both of them veggie sticks. And um, this is like an overflow pan as well. I have some applesauce. My little Jamaican cookie that mommy um brought up my oval teen you know rich bits little, little stuff and then back here we have um their little bites and then let me pull this off so y'all can see i have their little bites and then i bought these for Tia because she loves um cinnamon toast crunch so i got her the bars and then of course the infamous big bar like how can you go grocery shopping and not buy fig bar for your kids so i've seen the apple cinnamon flavor i said i wanted her to try this one and she loves it tenio both of them love it but tenio is very picky so and then this is the original fig bar so and it's real fruit and whole grain so i always make sure whatever i'm getting for her is whole grain and then back there she has some veggie um pringles it's like pringles and some crackers and stuff like that so here we have our little gerber food that she can pick up and go and then here is um chris actually showed me these in Publix, and when i tell you they taste really good so because i'm on this weight loss thing i still wanna have my sweets but not feel guilty about it so i wanted something to eat in between my um, meals so i could use this as a snack so these are the this is the nutrition facts one brown is 70 calories the sugar added sugar is three percent the fiber is 21 percent um and the sodium is four percent which is not bad for a brownie so I was iffy about it but i actually really love it so thank you babe for showing me these on sunday really really love them and if you realize in my pantry most of my things are fiber related or um has probiotics because i don't want to continue having issues going so probiotics fiber related fiber fiber and then here um these are some brioche buns that we've had this one throughout okay so we, i forget rid of this today's today is that day so yeah we're gonna throw this out and then um some whole wheat pita bread because i love pita bread and then um some multi-grain wraps so it's like a tomato basil i made this today with some turkey uh slices and some cucumber with a little salt and black pepper and when i tell you it was and hummus good i loved it then bagel i want to stop the, the um tiaja i used to love bagel i still love it but it has too much gluten in it so i'm gonna find another alternative um to the pepperidge farm but um i bought these for tiaja see three bagels 350 calories which you only probably eat two but um the protein 10 grams meh sodium 18 and the carb you see that 27 so i'm gonna find another alternative but as i said i don't want to take everything from her definitely throwing this out
all right so that's that on this aisle aisle um so down here i cleaned up as much as possible so i have some cheese you know i have ketchup i have my sauce this is the best sauce so if you only using this it's expensive but trust me it's really good and then just the basic um i don't know i think it's my stepdad who bought this sardine um we don't eat sardine but i'm not throwing it out just basics or condensed milk and stuff like that and if you all remember how under here was looking so i cleaned up everything cleaned up all my spices everything and over here as well cleaned it up make sure i can find everything that i'm looking for and yeah pretty organized so down here we just have overflow of snacks that i bought in costco my ninja some additional water and then my oils and extra stuff and then my food cart is right here so pretty much that's my pantry y'all as i said we've been cleaning out taking out a lot of stuff so this is what you're gonna see for most of the part well until my parents get back here but um yeah this is what you're gonna see and um i told chris i want to redo the pantry and take out these wire shelves and do something more modern um but it's not a priority right now so we're living with it. It, it it's not affecting me it's holding up my stuff so it's good it's not a priority but yeah that's my pantry pretty simple pretty to the point yep all right so this is in the refrigerator i should have showed you guys from uh what do you call it from sunday but i'm sorry about that totally forgot so um pretty simple to the point veggies to the point no baga 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 as i said i cleaned it out um so on top we have some eggs we have our watermelon this was full we bought a huge watermelon and chris cut it up before we went to work but this is what i'm snacking on daily um so it's almost done and then <laughs> chris saw this in um Publix, the Arden's Garden, and then when I TikTok it, I heard it's the detox drink of the. It's going viral, so in bed for my brother and said must drink it one whole day. But me no, me no, me no know the courage not come yet. Probably me no know next week or so. It's a two day one, so I'm supposed to get another one, but I didn't see the price when he bought it. But when I looked on the receipt, it's like seventeen ninety nine. So yeah, but I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. Um. So yeah. So. Da, da, da. on this shelf let me hurry up because the fridge is about to make some noise so on this shelf we have our milks so we don't like each other milk so everybody have their own milk um Tej and chris share milk so they drink the lactate this is tenille's milk we get that on wick this is my milk unsweetened almond milk and then i have my veggies that i eat every day uh, my mixed veggies and then we have our fruits this was stocked on sunday guys i am sorry i should have <sighs> i'm sorry i should have video and show them when it's stuck and look fruity and everything but we are eating fruits and that's what matters i had to come up with an alternative told y'all i had to come up with an alternative um for us to eat more fruits and this is doing it our fruits are almost done and it's like the third day so that's good then on the bottom on this shelf we have like more veggies overnight food so this is sending oatmeal that i made on in the back we have some white rice that chris cooked and then i have my salmon some baby spinach my tomato and then in my crispers i am trying a new way of how to store my veggies and they feel pretty firm so normally when i buy veggies i would just put them in but what i realize is sometimes when you buy them some of them are spoiled and you don't even realize it and then you know it starts mixing with the ones that aren't spoiled and then you just get so anise and all that so i took out everything washed them and then this is my cucumber that i had today so i just put a piece of foil on it and then this is a piece of onion that i'm gonna use this evening because i'm about to go make dinner and my fridge is saying close me and then in here i have a bunch of veggies asparagus some brussels sprouts some celery some broccoli some cauliflower carrots yeah in this drawer and then 
this shelf is our yogurt shelf yogurt 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 we all eat different types of yogurt because we all have different um what do you call it different men no, no goals these greek yogurt i think mommy bought them or my stepdad not greek these great value brand we don't eat these ones. I don't know why I didn't keep buying it because I told them to only eat Greek yogurt because these are too sweet. So, probably true. She said the low fat makes you buy it, but I don't know. But, anyways, so yeah. But Tasia says she doesn't want it to go the way, so she's having them. But I don't give them these yogurts. It has to be Greek yogurt. Has to be Greek yogurt. Um, so yeah, but Tasia is gonna finish that. She doesn't like this one. I think my stepdad, I don't know. Everybody in my family is different. I don't know. But I bought these. And when I tell you, I thought they tasted horrible, but they're actually really good, y'all. 15 grams of protein because I'm trying to intake that. So I'm fuller for longer. So this is really good. This is really good. If y'all want like a routine of what I eat in the morning, I'll wait. wait. Wait until I lose the weight. I may have proof and then we can show no. Let's do that. And then down here, you know, we have like a baking soda and then my ginger paste and then on this side we have juice so we have um i bought this peanut punch for chris i'm gonna see my drink them so i need to figure out what i'm gonna do and then i put two two juice in the fridge for the girls these were on sale in Publix. that's what i like about Publix. buy one get one or buy two get one or buy one get two so these are on sale so i stocked up on these and this is tennis prune juice because sometimes she has a uh, she has a little issue going, so I make sure I always have prune juice at hand. And then you know, Pedialyte you can't have put in your house and I have Pedialyte like duh. And even us, cause I drink it too. And then I got this light ranch dressing. Um, for us, well, for them, for the girls. Um, I'm not gonna see if they like it. But y'all, I got this at Publix. You see where it's Sunday. You see where it's already it tastes so good i'm not a vinaigrette girly but let me tell you this will make you eat your veggies if you think twice in eating veggies like me this is it 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 um so up top we have our peanut butter i think i have a jam right here and then this is a ragu sauce that i um was you wait this spoiled man my seat mm -hmm. see it there yep you can't see that so yeah this is a as this is my um sauces let me check this one make sure it's good yeah this is good so yeah this is the same one that y'all saw in the pantry so yeah um let me throw this out all right so yeah so yeah that's basically my refrigerator nothing too schmanchy we don't eat a lot because we're trying to lose weight and the kids are picky we don't eat sweet stuff and that's better or not that's just how it has always been so yeah no baga baga um on the top is like our butters um i got this uh hummus in Publix. it's the roasted garlic listen try it and let me know what y'all think tastes so good tastes so 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 good tastes so good so moving right along so this is the other part of the fridge so this is my water that i've been drinking um i made some lemon infused water and i make sure i drink that all the time to keep hydrated and then we just put it right in and the fridge automatically fills it up all right guys so oh grape sweet so this is the next section this is the flex section of the refrigerator this side can be used as a freezer or as a fridge I use it as a fridge because I really don't need more freezer space because I have two more freezers, well, three more freezers in the garage. So, I'm going to really use them like that. Um, down here has a wine cooler where we can wine this. So, I chill over now and drink. Then here, um, I bought some ground turkey and that's some extra garlic bread. Down here is breakfast stuff. Chris was supposed to bring this last party while survive. Try to survive. Oh, God. But I'm leaving it right here. Um, Tasia will have it because she loves patty. So yeah, breakfast stuff. 
waffles i got these gluten-free um multi-grain waffles for myself some sorry french toast um french toast sticks and then some multi-grain english muffin for myself as well so on this side we have our cheeses so you know medium cheddar sharp cheddar i try both all of them some parmesan cheese just in case you want to sprinkle it on a little sprinkle sprinkle sliced cheese because tasia loves that and then this is what i got out for weeks so i just buy me just take them up because i'm free and um yeah turkey breast hot dog so this is like our breakfast level area you know try to keep the breakfast stuff one place this is our pimento cheese love it love it love it okay okay i'm shutting you down all right so this is our freezer guys after oreo so you know the ice we have a little um ice cream action going on there and then this section is basically mine we have some plant-based burger um some spinach bites that teddy is not eating but some plant-based chicken tenders and i've always loved those things um over here i have some thai baby dumplings and some falafel my favorite some overflow baby some more overflow stuff i mean i know we're carrying the ice cream bar the more than likely it's tea just saving it for later and then this is the new bread that i'm eating y'all so this is the ezekiel bread let me hurt and show you guys so this is the ezekiel bread so it's a sprouted green bread they said it's one of the healthiest bread that we should eat it's frozen yes so yeah this is my new bread that i'll be eating um and i've done my extensive research you don't know me already so we put it back right there and then tenille has been craving ice cream a lot so i got these for her in Publix. um some vanilla flavored ice cream she loves it she was craving that one and it's very sweet so i said all right you i forgot cut down so i got her these instead and i think she loves it so yeah and then in here i have um some acai to make smoothies and some pepper on my mother care come and under the bottom i think is pepper as well so yeah that's basically it this refrigerator is basically not empty but we don't like a lot of stuff we get annoyed easily so yeah so that's my fridge